David Stearns is stepping down as the Brewers president of baseball operations and will remain with the team as an advisor, but he was a guy that the Mets were interested in bringing in last offseason. So SNY's Andy Martino joins us now to talk about if Stearns could become a Met. Now, uh, uh, Andy, he said that he isn't interested in taking any other job with any other organization, but do you feel like that's just talk or do you feel like the right team and the right price could change his mind? Well, you know, I can't get into his mind, but I will say that even perhaps more pertinently, the Mets aren't interested in him right now. I called Steve Cohen after this news broke, uh, of course, the owner of the Mets, and he said uh, very clearly that they're happy with Billy Epler. Billy's in charge, and, and they're just focused on other things right now. So, uh, well, you can't say that one couldn't say that David Stearns will never work for the Mets. Uh, this isn't going to be the development that, that makes that happen. Billy Epler will stay as the uh, head of Mets baseball ops uh, at, at this time for the foreseeable future. Not forever. Nothing's forever, but the, they're not looking to interview Stearns now. Okay. Well, are, are there any circumstances or even scenarios where, like you said, in the foreseeable future, Stearns could be a little bit more attractive? Yeah, I think that at some point, and obviously he appears to be on his way out with the Milwaukee organization. He has another year under contract. And at some point, it would, of course, behoove Cohen to talk to him to see if they hit it off. I mean, you know, there's been so much talk about the Mets and Stearns over the past year, uh, of course, but there's actually been no connection, no um, interest beyond like, hey, that's a guy that's pretty good at this uh, GM thing and president of baseball ops thing. Maybe we should talk to him. And at some point they probably will. And, I mean, the Astros are a team that uh, it looks like they're going to make a change at the top and, and he could certainly interest them. He's worked there in the past. Uh, so th there could be other factors in the mix too for him. But if he remains available uh, six months, a year down the line, would Cohen have a conversation with him? Well, why wouldn't you? But that, that's as soon as I could see it changing. So other than that, that, hey, that's a guy that's good at the GM thing, like what makes Stern such a sought-after candidate for the Mets or any other organization? Like what does he bring to the table? Yeah. Well, the industry certainly is impressed by what he's done with modest, in a modest size market, uh, not the biggest payroll in the game, certainly in Milwaukee. Uh, they've been a competitive team. They've been at the cutting edge of some of the analytics trends in the game. Uh, certainly also fair and other people in the industry have sort of asked uh, that question like well what's not what's the big deal but like you know they haven't really won I mean they've been successful but they haven't been in a world series uh, and under Stern's run or anything like that but they do have a good process they are viewed as one of a one of the stronger organizations and and he helped to build that so he's looked at as a smart guy with a lot of potential in the game um, I, I just think that some of this has been a little bit overhyped um, you know, and overreported even to an extent, like the Mets Stearns link. It's definitely something the Mets have thought about and, and other teams would think about because he's a smart guy. But uh, we'll see where it goes. Well, you said you talked to Steve Cohen. There's nothing there. Thank you for coming on and clearing that up. Uh, Andy, thanks for joining us. My pleasure.